Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is that day, Fall Food Friday. This is the third episode, I think, right? I think it is. This is going to, yeah, this is the third. So here we go, guys. It's going to be a fun one. Let's get moving. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, I always have to do that. All right. Come on. All right. Now, what we're doing today is we're not doing a uh, we're not doing a, a sweet. We're gonna do a savory one, a savory recipe. Um, I wish this would stay up a little bit. I'm wearing my lemon apron today. All right. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do is. We're gonna make, guess what? Stuffed sweet potatoes. Yes, guys, stuffed sweet potatoes. Now, what I did was I already cooked the potatoes, okay? Because I didn't feel like, you know, you had to see that. That's kind of, you know, self-explanatory. So I have two big potatoes here, and I'm only doing two because my family does not like sweet potatoes. The only one that eats sweet potatoes is me and Julie, and we will enjoy these. So that's why I had two left in there. I says, ooh, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so what I'm going to do is let me get my um, cutting board out. Now, I'm going to do, I haven't opened these cutting boards yet. So I'm going to open these cutting boards. So excited. These are so cute. Oh, my goodness. Me and Julie got these on such a steal at ShopRite. I'm gonna use the big one today. Let's use the big one. Oh my God, it's so cute. If you have a shop right by you, or you're probably gonna get, I don't know, but you can probably get it anyway. They had these on sale, for, for, for three of them for $4.99. I mean, come on, you, 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 you couldn't, we, we couldn't, um, we couldn't pass by it. We just couldn't. Let me throw this out. We could not pass by it. Now, it's gonna be one of those that's gonna slide, which we all know. Look how cute, oh my goodness, I like to keep these out. Look how cute. That looks so cute. My hubby wouldn't like that, but too bad. <laughs> okay, let's get, I have my pumpkins out too. I, like I said, I have to get to the Dollar Tree to get all my, to get fall stuff because all my fall stuff is gone, I have no idea. No idea what happened to my full stuff. No idea. Let's just put these right here. Okay. All right. All right. So what we're gonna do, guys, is I already cooked these. Um, these, like I said, these these potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice, um, slice the potatoes down the middle. Now you gotta be careful because um, I wanna. Let me see some. Yes. I want to keep the potato intact, okay? Because I want it to be a whole potato. So what I'm going to do is this. Cut, slice them down the middle. Now, you know, this is my own little recipe, so you can do whatever you want. You can do it however you want to do it. All right. Still a little hot, as you can see. Let me put something underneath this. Got to the mama. Um, cutting board so it doesn't go all over the place. What I do is I just put a wet paper, uh, wet paper towel underneath there. Why they don't do? They don't put grips on um, cutting boards. I don't know. Maybe I should invent it and go on Shark Tank. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so this is how I'm going to do this now. Do, 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 do. I'm just thinking as I'm working because this is, I'm a, I'm a work in progress, guys, you know. So I'm going to take this bowl carefully, guys, carefully. I'm going to take out the inside, okay, because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's nice. This I put in the microwave. I didn't bake it. I put it in the microwave, I think, for about, um... What I do? Three, four, five. I think I did it about under six minutes because I didn't want them to over. You know, sometimes you can overcook uh, potatoes in the microwave. I hate when I do that. 
But so I was very cautious. So I did, I think it was like under six minutes. So get it all out that you can carefully. If you leave a little bit in there, that's okay because you're going to eat it anyway. That's all right. That's okay. You're going to eat it anyway. Um, all right. So let's just carefully take this out. Just be careful because you don't want to rip it. If you do, you do. It's not the end of the world. Nobody's going to complain. My potato was, oh, was ripped. Oh, well. It's still be, it'll still taste the same and it'll be delicious. All right. So I got most of the, the insides out, like I said. All right. Clean hands, clean hands, clean hands. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here. Oh, wait. This is, there's a little bit, a little bit left here. And that's a lot there. All right. So you guys see what I'm doing, right? I'm just taking it out carefully. Here we go. Okay. Put this in here and putting it in the, I'm going to put it in the, um, in the toaster oven thingy. So I'm going to put it in this, um, this bowl because this bowl fits in there. Mm. Okay. All right. So that's one. This is a lot of potato, guy, guys. So now you're going to be seeing this on Friday because it's Fall Food Friday. But today is Thursday. I am doing this on Thursday. Okay. But. All right. Okay. So now we have the mixture, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Now you want this, I don't want it really like smooth, smooth. I want it a little bit chunky. You know, I don't want it, I don't want it in pieces, but I don't want it, um, I'm so hungry. And I've been eating all morning. I have an English muffin. Then I have, um, one second. I haven't really been eating a lot, though. Then my my son left this, and he said, Mom, eat this, because he, he's not going to eat it. It's like a basil chicken kind of dip. Oh, it's really good. So I had a couple pieces of that. I was full. And then I had some hummus with um with some carrots. I had that. And now I feel like I'm hungry again. I, I don't know. I just Maybe I'm not eating enough protein. I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's just get this smushed up just a little bit. Because I want it smooth, but I want it more like, I, I don't want it too smooth. I want it more like a baked potato, you know? Alright, so, break this up just a little bit. Now, I tasted this right now, and this needs salt. I mean, it is just so bland. Let's get this through. It's so bland, guys. So, it needs seasoning. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, minced garlic. Just a little because this right here is going to be a little strong and, and it's raw. You know what I mean? So, um, I think what I'm going to do is put more of the juice in because this is like watered garlic, guys. So I'm not, I don't want a lot of garlic, but I want the flavor. So there, I'm just going to put just a little bit. Okay. Now this was stupid. That wasn't a good idea to do, was it? <laughs> because it's now, now I can't get my seasoning. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're going to put some salt. Okay. Some pepper. I'm gonna taste it before I put any um any gar any garlic powder in it. 
We're going to put some parsley. Now, I want, I'm going to put a little fall flavors in here. So, um, I'm not going to go crazy with like the Italian flavors and all of that because um, I don't want to take away from that because this is like a fall dish, okay? You can make this like mashed potatoes. You don't have to put them back in the shell. You can um, put them back in the in the shells and have and serve them to your guests, you know, like at, as um, appetizers or, you know, um, whatever. All right, let's taste this. I'm going to put some other stuff in it yet. I'm not done yet. Mmm. Oh, my God. That is so good that it's just enough. Perfect amount of, gar of garlic, guys. Perfect amount. Let's wipe this off because what I'm going to do is, yes, I'm going to drop, I'm going to put a, a little bit of brown sugar in the mixture. Okay. Probably about a tablespoon. Okay. Fall Food Friday. Um, some lady yesterday, another, about it, probably about another teaspoon, guys. It definitely doesn't have enough. Depends on how, how you like it. Uh, we like it a little bit sweet, so. Um, some lady yesterday, I forget her name. She said, what did she say to me? Um, I forget. Something about, uh, oh, how disgusting it is that I use, that I, that I, um, touch all these, um, uh, spice things with my hands when they're dirty. And I, it's not that, it's not that hard just to clean them as you go. And I said to her, which I've said on my channel before, and everybody who watches my channel regularly will know that I've said this before. Um, after I, when I clean up, I wipe all my all my things down that I use because I know that I do that. I'll touch it with you know dirty hands or whatever, and I just don't have time to do it as as I'm as I'm making the video. So I do it after I do it faithfully. So um, I said to her, just you know, relax, lady, Re relax, like you know. And how I'm always smelling my food. Yes, I smell my food because that's how I differentiate how it, if it smells really good, then I know I have enough seasoning in it. And I told her, and I'm not trying to be mean, and you guys know this, if you don't like the way I do things, then you have to move on to another channel. Don't watch. I don't want to hear you complaining. You could be nice and be kind and then move on. I don't have to hear that. Okay, so that that's it. So anyway, that's it. So yeah, so I know what I do. Okay, and you know, that's it. All right, so I just had to say that. All right, so let's taste this, guys. Mmm. Mmm. There's a, a different salt here. Where's that salt? I think it's... Let me put this in. Oh, you know what? I wanted to start using my Himalayan salt again. Where is it? Oh, wait. The Himalayan salt. The Himalayan salt is here somewhere. All right, well. I can't find it right now, but it definitely is in here because I want to start using that again. I'm going to put some sea salt in it, guys. I like the flavor of sea salt. I like the way it tastes in a meal. So, yeah. So it definitely needs a little bit of salt, and I actually think it does need some garlic powder. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in it. And you put in the flavors that you like, okay? All right. Now, I don't think I'm... I'm not going to put any more brown sugar in it because... Mm, that's really good. Because... Mm, that's really, really good. 
Um, I'm going to put some brown sugar on the top as well, guys. Okay? So I'm going to put a little bit of butter in it. Just a, probably about a, a, a tablespoon, a, a teaspoon, tablespoon, just to um, sort of make it a little bit creamy. And I'm also, I was going to put evaporated milk in it, but I'm not going to open up that whole can just for this because I don't want to really, I don't want to waste it. So um, I'm going to get a little bit of cream because I want it to be a little bit creamy. I'm also going to put sour cream in it. Let me show you. All right, let's put a little bit of half and half. Oh, no, me. Just a little bit. And then we're going to put some sour cream. Did I put pepper? I think I feel like I need a little bit more pepper. Pepper. I like pepper. Uh... Nice scoop of sour cream butter, a little bit of creams, and sour cream, like I just said. Yum. Oh, the butter will melt into the, when it bakes, you know. All right. Let's taste it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. It is so good. A little drop of cinnamon. Not a lot. Depends on how much you like. I just want a little hint of cinnamon. So that's what I'm doing to make it really fally. And for like the holidays, you can make this. You could just make this for mashed, for freaking mashed potatoes. Uh, smashed, uh, um, oh my God, so good. It is so good. Let's see if it has enough cinnamon. Cause I have, I want to put enough cinnamon where you can taste it, but not too much cinnamon where it overpowers. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. A drop more. Literally a drop. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do, okay? I have another little twist to it. Right, One guys, second. So this is my little twist. Look, I'm going to put this. I'm going to, ow! Just caught myself. Put a little piece of pad of butter in each one. I was listening to Barry Mann a little bit, guys, when I was, when I was, um, waiting, uh, you know, when I was doing this. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more. Where's that other spoon? Oh, it's in a sour cream. Let me get another spoon. I'm going to do a little bit more brown sugar on the bottom. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? A little bit brown sugar on the bottom. Okay. Now this is, you know, this is not a meal you're going to have every weeknight. It's not something you eat every day because it does have some bad stuff in it. The brown sugar, you know, this is holiday stuff. This is stuff you make once in a while, not, you know, every other day. So, you know, it is what it is. It's not a diet meal and, and that's it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I put the brown sugar now. I'm going to put a little bit of grated cheese on the bottom. I think it'll be delicious. A little bit of grated cheese. Okay. Now let's put the stuff in here. Let me get a different spoon for this to do with this. Yes, let's use this. All right. Okay, guys, let's see. Stuff it in. Oh my goodness. This, I can tell you now. It's going to be out of this world. It really is. It's going to be out of this world. Out of this world. 
and you can even do this with regular potatoes. You know, like you could do this with regular. If you're not a big sweet potato fan, you can also add like that kind of stuff to it to make it a little fally if you want. Wow, looks like I'm a little short. <laughs> How did that happen? Okay, let's get it all out of here. Let me get my, um, my little spatula thing. Oh my God, the flavor. I can't even tell you. I can't even explain to you the flavor of this. I just want to, I just want to eat it. Julie is gonna love this. Love it. She is a sweet potato freak like me. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Oh my God. Did you see that? I almost literally just dropped my bowl. All right. Oh my God. The flavor. I can't even explain to you how good the flavor is. All right, let's go now. Let's get um, let's do a little bit. I'm trying to think which way I want to do this. I think I'm going to do a little bit of grated cheese on top. And it's just a little bit, guys, okay? It'll give it like a little bit of a cheese kind of topping with the brown sugar, the sweet and the salty. Oh. <laughs> this, this just makes me, this just excites the heck out of me. I'm really sorry, but it really, I don't, I don't know why I'm apologizing. I, I don't have to apologize. I just do. Brown sugar. Oh my goodness. Looks like we made it. With each other all the way to another love. Alright. And then there's even going to be another twist to it. Wait till you see this twist. <laughs> All right, let's put this in the toaster. I'm going to put this on bake for, I don't know, like 10 minutes. Just so it gets really hot and everything gets cooked. It's all cooked already. Everything is cooked. So. All right. Where's the parsley? Where's the parsley? A little bit of parsley. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's put this in the in the toaster. on bake all right we're gonna let that cook a little bit and then when it's done I'm gonna put the put on it what I you guys wait and see what I put up put on it just wait and see see if you can guess that filling mm, so good I just want to eat it like that 
I'm gonna leave the sour cream out because you can put a little dollop doll with the sour cream on it too if you want. All right, guys, I'll be back in 10 when it's done. All right, guys, these, this has been in about 15, well, no, about, about 10, 12 minutes. I'm gonna take it out. I think it needs another couple of minutes, yeah. I'm going to leave it in for like another five minutes. I think it needs another five minutes. And then we'll take it out and I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, people. So I took it out. Now, let me lower it a little bit. Fall food frappe. What the surprise is, guys. Look, first of all, I want to show you what it looks like. It looks amazing. Mm. Yes, what I'm putting on. And this is optional. You don't have to. Just a little if you want. We like it, so I'm going to do it. I'm not going to put as, a lot on, though. No. I'm not going to put as much as I would put on for the holidays. You know, on my sweet potatoes. Jeez, oh, I keep getting pains in my feet. My, my feet are really bothering me lately. All right. A little side note. All right, let's put this back in the oven for just a couple of minutes. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> All right, that's it. I'm gonna put this in for just a couple of minutes and let that melt and then we're gonna eat. I'm gonna show you. On broil guys because I wanted to um, I wanted to like get a little like crispy and brown on the top so I'm putting it on broil for the next like five minutes and then we're gonna show you Excited. all right guys here it is look at that oh my god happy fall food Friday Let's put it on a dish now, okay? All right, now, you know, this is a big potato, so um, let me get the spatula. You can definitely, I would only eat half. There's no way I could eat one whole one at a time, but oh, oh my god, guys. Look at the marshmallow. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. Let me put you up a little bit. Guys, the marshmallows alone are amazing. Happy Thanksgiving, happy fall, happy fall, fall, food Friday. Let's go, guys. Oh, the creaminess, you see that? Look at that. I can't, I just can't. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get it, the piece of the marshmallows not all together. You can even put a dollop of sour cream on here if you want. Do a dollop of daisy. That's my ice machine. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. The brown sugar alone with the grated cheese, the saltiness, and the, the sweet. I gotta get more marshmallow. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's so amazing. Um, it's hot. Mm.
happy, happy dance, happy dance. Oh my god, guys. You gotta make this. You have to make it. And I'm telling you, the marshmallows make it. I mean, they're just an added deliciousness on top. Julie is gonna go crazy for this. Mmm. I might add this on to my to my Thanksgiving holiday meals. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even joking. It's so good. You know how you know even this would be even good? Just making like a mash but like a a sweet potato mash like in a in a in in that casserole that I have the, the potatoes in without without the skin you can even do. And just make this mixture and then bake it like that. Oh my god. I might do that for the holidays. I might I might do it for for Christmas or for for Thanksgiving. Probably Thanksgiving. Mmm. You hear the crunch of the marshmallows? All right, guys. I could sit here all day and just rave, rave about it and eat it. And I hardly ate lunch, so I'm just gonna eat a half, a half of this right here. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video because I'm telling you, I know I did, and I am gonna put this recipe up. I also, I'm so sorry. I know I haven't put the um, the bread recipe up yet. Maybe I'll do that today, and um, get it up there. And um, this one, like I said, please, please make it for your holiday, for your whatever. <gasps> love it, love it, love it. So good. All right, one more bite, and then I'm going to say like goodbye because I need to have one more bite. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, guys. My fork cup. My full plate. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, you really help my channel grow. And I so appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. Thank you so much for coming into my kitchen in my home with me and creating guys i love all of you happy fall friday i'll see you on the next one oh my goodness i'm going to eat this bye